beautifully made bed can turn any room into an oasis and a place that you actually want to spend your time relaxing. So I'm going to show you how to make a bed by yourself with no help. And it's going to be made perfectly just like a magazine. Get all of your bedding together. So I have a fitted sheet and my top sheet, my pillowcases and my duvet cover and my pillow shams. Okay, so just make sure that your sheets go all the way down because you don't want and tucked underneath each corner nice and tight. So the last corner is where you're gonna wanna really secure it and make sure because this is where the sheet would pop up. Because if your sheet isn't deep enough, it's gonna stay up or stay here, right? You know, but we've all seen people make a bed like that. Look at it, pull it all the way down as tight as you can and then tuck it underneath. Again, it does matter the quality of your sheets that you have because not all of them are gonna be deep enough pockets. And then what we do is we just pull all of this, like, so there's no wrinkles, you know, like in the army, where you can bounce a quarter off of it. You wanna tuck all the way around on both sides. I'll go to the other side and do it too, make it smooth. So again, see how nice and smooth everything is. So even if your sheets were like wrinkly, you're gonna pull it tight enough that it really, you're not gonna see the wrinkles anyways. All right, I've got my top sheet out here. Not everybody likes to use a top sheet nowadays, but it still makes, it's, it really, it's just whatever is your preference. If you use a duvet, I find most people who use sleep with duvet don't really like top sheets, but I think top sheets just like keep things cleaner and protect your bedding a little bit better, especially if you're sleeping with a quilt, which you're not gonna wash all the time. Anyways, this is, so you wanna put the pattern side of your top sheet down, facing down. See how this is like the lighter side? of the sheet and then try to evenly spread it out and have equal amount of overhang on the top or sorry on each side if you have railings on your bed like i do just don't worry about them yet we're just going to spread the sheet out as best we can but your best thing that you're gonna do is just make sure when you're flat, when you do lay out your flat sheet, just that everything is even because it's gonna make it so much easier for you. Pull everything nice and tight before you start tucking. Now we're gonna make our way around the bed tucking. Okay, I don't worry too much about tucking the top of the bed because we're gonna fold this like this very top part. So we're gonna fold that um, down at the end, but just tuck everything in. And if you can see, look how smooth we've smoothed out the top of the bed. So there's like no wrinkles in the sheet. See, we've made it to the corner. So the great debate is which way does the hospital corner actually go? I prefer to do it to the head of the bed. A lot of people prefer to do it to the foot of the bed, but honestly, you guys can just like leave a comment below. So tuck just slightly to the toe of foot of the bed and make it nice and tight. And then you just grab, pinch the corner and fold. Oh, you can go like really big on them if you want, or you can go smaller on them. So I am not the type of person that cares if a hospital corner is perfect. Okay, now we're gonna tuck all the way around the edge of the bed, which is kind of a pain in the butt because we have these railings, but I'll move my um, footrest out of the way. And you just have to move along. So I'm just reaching in between the bars here and tucking in. You'll see as I tuck, I'm making sure that I'm not making like a whole bunch of wrinkles either, like tuck, smooth it out. And now onto this corner. There. Now for the fun part, putting on the duvet cover. And this is a difficult task when you're by yourself. It's annoying when you even have a friend, but I'll show you the easy way to do it. So I have my duvet all laid out nice and flat and then take the duvet cover and then you want to turn it inside out and lay it on top. So I'm gonna turn this inside out first because it was folded the right way out. Okay, and just make sure it's nice and smooth. So if you're lucky enough to have um, the ties, you're lining up the corners first, and then you're going to tie the duvet in. I always do bow ties so that you don't have a big knot to get out when it's time to change the bedding. And I'm gonna do that to all uh, these two top corners first. Tie the bottom corners too, or line them up as best that you can, because when we go to 
grab the corners, we want everything to stay in place as best that it can. Again, if you don't have the ties, you're just going to line it up. Now, you're just going to take your hand and worm your way up to the corner of the duvet and grab it and pull it through. So remember, this is how to make a bed by yourself. Got it all twisted, find the hole, and go all the way up to the corner. See how I'm grabbing this corner and then pull through. And then line it up. You're gonna smooth everything out as you move around. You have to get your corners all smoothed first. Make sure the duvet is filling the whole entire duvet cover. Okay, but this is, the zipper of your duvet should always be at the foot of the bed, so we're gonna spin this. So we want the zipper at the end of the bed and then the zipper or the buttons or whatever. But now that you look at how my duvet is all like smoothed out, it's not lumpy or anything anywhere. I'm going to shake it even more once I've got the zipper done up. And smooth everything out. I actually have to flip this because I know that this is the, it's the wrong way up. But shaking a duvet is truly what's gonna get everything nice and even throughout it. And then you don't need a whole bunch of extra at the top because we want more overhang at the bottom so we can tuck it down. And remember, we're gonna do that fold at the top of the bed. But don't worry too much if there's like lumpy look in pieces right now. We're gonna fix it all closer to the end. So now, just pull and smooth out any wrinkles you might see. Make sure it's even on both sides. And then, honestly, we're, gonna, we're ready to do the fold back. So remember how we left enough overhang to do a fold? And we like to do a double fold at Go Clean Co, but I'm just gonna have to go to that other side. So hold tight so that it's all even Steven. So now that you've got it folded down equally, nice and smooth on both sides, I like to do the double roll. I just think it's more like comfortable looking and inviting. So now I gotta come over there. You're really getting your steps in today. And it's honestly like a lot of making a bed, especially with a duvet, which they're notoriously lumpy, is, is like fluffing and smoothing, fluffing and smoothing to make it look nice. Now we're ready for some pillows. Now, one of our final steps is putting pillows, cases on the pillows. So this is, I find that this is like actually something that people don't do. So grab the corner of your pillow and then line it all the way up. These are king pillows, so they're a little bit bigger. It's just like the duvet. You want the corner directly into the corner. And I can actually maybe even just show an example of twisted pillow after this of not doing it properly. So see how I've got it like pulled right into the corner. And then fluff your pillows up. There's one. So with the, this is sort of like a pillow sham, but it's not like a fancy pillow sham that you can't sleep with. It's still made out of like the same material as the duvet and the sheets. Um, but one thing I should have said at the beginning is I always choose like the fluffier, more stuffed pillow for the more decorative pillow that's going to go in the front, just because you want it to look full and not like deflated and limp. Fluff your pillows, take out your daily frustrations. <laughs> And now we're ready to like make everything gorgeous. Now we're gonna place the pillows. So your regular like standard pillowcases generally would go in the back. I kind of like them in the front because I like my bed to look like inviting and cozy when I want to come to bed. But to make this look picture perfect, I'm going to do the shams in the front. 
Okay, this is a good question because lots of people, like I see like interior designers and stuff, put this edging towards the middle of the bed. That's upside down. So they put that towards the middle of the bed so there's like the tail doesn't thing stick out. But if you ever go to a hotel, they're always like this. So I just think it should be this way. I guess we can do a vote in the comment section about it. So this bed looks absolutely beautiful as is, but we're going to add in like some elements of layers just to like cozy it up. You could just leave it like this and be happy. I think it looks fantastic, but adding in some layers is just gonna, I don't know, make it more cozy. So first thing you could do is just a decorative pillow, which that looks really nice. Oh, it needs a little bit to go a little bit to the left there. So you could just stop there. But one other way we can do it is lots of people have Euro shams. We're going to, we're going to remove the pillows and I'm going to put in some Euro shams at the back. I like them, but it's one of those things that you have to remove off of your bed before you go to sleep. I think 90% of the time the Euro shams just live on the floor or like in people's houses or at like the foot of the bed. That looks even. No. <sighs> That looks like it's from TV and I'm going to add a bed blanket. Okay. So now I have this bed blanket, which even though it's the same color as like the duvet set, it's still going to add an element of texture by putting it in. I have a bunch of different colors of these bed blankets. They're from Bowen Branch. They're so nice, but I like like doing extra elements of texture, kind of like in a little bit of a monochromatic look, you know, beige on beige so out there and exciting. And that concludes how to make a bed perfectly by yourself. So remember to use whatever you have on hand. You don't have to like go out and buy a whole bunch of bedding, but you can use what you have on hand to make any room really comfy and cozy. So now you can crawl into bed and have a nap and watch our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe.